huge news is it looks like the ACLU has officially dropped Amber Heard. That's right. Yeah, this started with Amber Heard unfollowing the organization that allowed her to put together the op-ed she ended up sued over. And now, well, it looks like she's been ghosted. You and I, we're going to talk about that today, too. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently, man. The ACLU, they decided to drop an absolute bombshell, and they didn't say anything about this. I mean, if you look at their website, you go to About. You go to the ambassador page. This is the page that you land on. Well, when you start looking at the artist ambassadors, you'll find people named. But the one thing that you do not find anymore is the ambassador link that they had for Amber Heard. And this thing, it was up until the last update on the website. That happened January the 9th, 2024. And then suddenly, poof, it was gone. Now, this seems to be out and out intentional, too, because if you go and you look up Amber Heard's name in the ACLU, what you'll find is this. You'll find an ACLU landing page. You'll find news and commentary, you know, where you have an archive of the 2018 op-ed that they did together. But as far as bio, if you click on it, this is the only thing that remains. You have a sentence about her, but again, you don't have have an about. You don't have a landing page. It looks like everything that was there, it was removed. And again, it looks like it was removed on January the 9th. Now, on its own, that is a bombshell in my opinion, but things, oh, they get even more frisky. Why? Well, around Christmas, according to Emmy, props to her for putting this screenshot up, by the way, Amber Heard ended up ghosting the ACLU. You can see evidence of that in this screenshot here of her Instagram. Once you search who exactly she's following, ACLU, just like Jason Momoa and so many others, they're gone. And what truly made this interesting, in my opinion, is that when you checked out the ACLU and any public reaction that they had, yeah, they hadn't done anything yet at all. I mean, this this comes from Emmy as well. Props to her. She actually noticed this stuff playing out around Christmas. But if you check it out, this is the ACLU's actual Instagram page. You can see, again, ACLU nationwide. So, they should have shown up under Amber Heard search, but they didn't. But when you search them, you check out who they're following. Look at who hits right off the bat. Amber Heard. So again, publicly, they hadn't done anything, but privately, I guess something was going on, and it makes you wonder, just like Jason Momoa, what's going to happen next as far as these moves are concerned. Now, another thing that really jumped out to me is what is missing versus what is left behind. And I want to show you this here because I thought that this was kind of wild. I mean, if you check out the old ACLU landing page and the description of who Amber Heard was, they shopped her around as a specific type of ambassador. She wasn't just a women's rights ambassador, but they added another caveat. I mean, check this out here. Amber Heard. Amber Heard serves as an ACLU ambassador for women's rights with a focus. This is very important, I think, on gender base V. I mean, again, they shopped her in articles. They talked about her with that. It wasn't just women's rights. It was, hey, she has this attacked. Why? Because that, that's what she had supposedly been through. Now compare that with what you can still find associated with the ACLU. And I want to again be very clear about something. I did not find this linked throughout the site. I actually could not find her linked to anything at all. I had to go to Google. I had to go in. I had to search Amber Heard connected to the ACLU. Then this thing hit. It makes me wonder if it's a remnant from December 27, 2018 when the op-ed actually dropped. But when you look at it, it's filed under news and commentary And it comes with a bio. Notice something missing here? Let's read this together. Bio. Amber Heard 
is an actress and an ACLU ambassador for women's rights. Again, there is no caveat whatsoever about gender-based V. Now, we have no idea why this has happened as of yet. I mean, so far, you haven't had the ACLU say anything. Amber Heard, she hasn't said anything yet. She has a history of burning folks that do this stuff, though. So, we'll see. I mean, we'll see if it actually goes the Jason Momoa Warner Brothers route. But, if you get into the speculation part, that's when things really get interesting. I mean, here's Emmy. And again, props to Emmy for posting all of this stuff. She gets us in the Wayback Machine. She actually shows us a screenshot from June 2018. That's an important time, too, because the op-ed, yeah, they've already put this thing together. They're shopping it around. They probably haven't landed on the Washington Post yet, but they're still getting all of that together. But you'll notice publicly here, you have Elon Musk saying, hey, I'm one of the top donors at the ACLU. And the ACLU responds to him saying, hey, Thank you for being one of the biggest supporters of the ACLU. Really appreciate your backing us over the years. And again, remember, this is before he took over Twitter. This is before Amber Heard vacated it, before everybody attached to her attacked him. They attacked him over the biography. They attacked him over saying, hey, she did damage. And they attacked him saying he put together revenge prawn because he showcased a picture of her in cosplay. Yeah, that makes you wonder. It makes you wonder indeed. Now, the other thing that's coming up, too, is how Aquaman, it's really ran full circle along with Amber Heard. And what I mean by that is this. Back in 2018, you have Elon's millions rolling in, but you also have the surprise hit of Aquaman, and they weaponized it back in December. It launches. It makes $1.142 billion. All eyes are on a certain hashtag movement. And they see Amber Heard. Fast forward to Aquaman 2 here. When she brings that thing up, what happens? Oh, her followers, they fall off a cliff. I mean, it's like people were like, hey, wait a minute. Am I still subscribed to this person? I'm out of here, and I'm out of here now. Now, you have to wonder. I mean, with a brand, at some point, that... That becomes a brand loss, and I don't feel any type of sympathy whatsoever for the place that got involved with her that tried to ruin somebody. They never apologized or anything. They just tried to stealth drop her, it looks like. But yeah, them dropping her, it looks like a huge statement. Let me know what you think about this, and as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. Want to help out the channel, by the way? Links are in the description. Appreciate you too. I'm going to end here thanking you. We will see you soon.